Okay, this is another vlog style video by Osteosurgery for Six. We're going in hospital for a minor operation, and then when I got there, I had to have some swabs, which was yesterday. To test for MRC, which is for you know, usual, that's alright. They tested, they did my blood pressure, um, height and weight, which is the anaesthetic, and they went through loads of questions basically hard ladies and applied to know if they had heart disease and all that kind of business. Some strange questions about my cow disease, which ones apply to me because I'm a vegetarian, but there we go. Uh, and then today, um about ten to two just sitting down with my dinner. Um nurse calls. It was a nurse and I should confirm the day's birth, all that, you know, check it through the filter too. Uh, and yeah. MRC. I have MRC. That's what she said. The swabs have shown. I have MRC. How is this possible? God knows how this is possible. But I have MRC. Well, it's not exactly something that, I mean, I've just been researching MRC on the internet. Um, basically, I'm not infected. Then I say, because obviously I didn't know this. I'm not. I'm not healthy myself, but I actually carry MRSA. Okay, I was really surprised. Um, so I have a colony of MRSA, and I was quite scared because basically, when you have MRSA, it's like this deadly virus that you can die from. But I'm not infected because I'm not ill. Um, and on the next time I was like, oh my god. I didn't say that, I just said, really upset, I just said, how did I get this? And she said, oh, well, we've come into contact with someone. We've got MRC, so I was just looking at how I know that. Ah, so it can spread, but the thing is, um, it must be someone I know, because I don't really come in close contact with somebody. And it's, it, I mean, it's a touching infected skin or wound of anyone who has MRC. We don't know anyone who's got it, and... No, my family has got has got it. And there's two areas that I've got it in and I just don't understand how I've actually got MRSA but I have. And so basically I'm just carrying this is for the Google image search of MRSA. So really, I mean it's quite a, a frightening thought really to have MRSA. Even though I haven't, let's have a look on the Wikipedia page. And I haven't actually, like, oh God, that there it is. This disgusting thing. So basically, I am carrying an RSA. And it was sort of the thing that I associated with, because <clears throat> I associated with something that you got if you went into hospitals. Um, and they didn't like clean the wards properly, um, so therefore you got it through their lack of hygiene. And I was really upset because that's an awful picture of it of MRSA. That's horrible. That's what I've got on my skin. Mm, it's just disgusting. Um, Apparently, it just I haven't I haven't like got infected with it, but I am carrying it. So if I went into hospital, um, it's more like a danger for the, if I had the operation. It's more like a danger that that other people would get infected with MRSA. Um, it, I mean, it's really strange because I'm like I wash my hands and. It was really clean. My parents don't do with that. So somehow I've got it off somebody else. And I just don't know how because I don't really come in close contact with people. I don't know how close you have to be. I, I really don't know. Perhaps I need to research that. But um, I, I don't know how, like, what kind of strains there are of this virus. But let's just say the only people that I get in close contact with um, are, like, my family. I don't get into close contact with other people, strangers, 
I, I mean, unless um, you don't have to actually get that close to them, which it, I just don't know how I could have got it. But it's just a bit worrying when you're going for this like minor operation. I just want to say, so turns out you've got an RSA. Mm. So basically, I'm not, I haven't like got the infection, but it, it, it's still scary. I still think that this is quite scary. So these are like obviously all the boils and the growth that you can get from having an RSA. But I haven't, gosh, it's quite scary this. And apparently, I mean, I just, like I say, associated this with, um, MRC is what you get in hospital. And I'm have been, I don't know how long I've had it, to prevent an RSC. Well, this is what they do to prevent it, um, in hospital. They have these, um, these swabs. I mean, I... I suppose it's nothing I've got to basically not worry about it. What's going to happen is, um, oh, let's see. Just keep your hands, yeah, I do that. Just looking at these pen steps, keep me safe, it's what I do. Which is just, so it's, it's from person to person contact. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to try not to worry about it, but basically what she said, because she obviously heard that I could tell that I was upset, so she said, is your mum there? And I said, no. She said, oh, is your dad there? I'll hang on a second for So, yep, just back after that brief interlude, because I had to go and the film went and went to meet my mum. Uh, so we've just been talking about it really with my mum. Hmm, how surprising it is that I have got it. What the nurse said that I was speaking to, she said they're going to send me some <coughs> for the doctor and William, really like a spray for my nose and like some cuts, like washing to wash my skin with. That's the screening, that one there. That's what you know, so that's what they do. <laughs> That's the BBC, that should be a good website. Um, so one, what I will have to do is apparently you have to, uh, what is the video of this? Um, basically what I'll have to do is, I'll have to use this wash and this spray from my nose for five days. And then apparently for three days, three days I've got to go to the hospital, the doc my doctor's consecutively. Um, for testing, not working. For to, to be tested, that there it is up the nose. To be tested to see if it's gone. And um, I mean, I'm not in pain with it, obviously. And just the main thing is, <coughs> it's just more of an annoyance. And all the horrible little nasty bugs that are on me, that's on me now. Disgusting. In hospital, just that I've not got it from hospital. Then, once it's been treated, um, hopefully, then I will be able to go and have my operation. But it needs to be treated first. So, I'm still a bit of research into what exactly, how exactly I've got this. I just can't think who could have given it to me. Could have been someone else, I even know. <laughs> Mm, warm soapy water, yep, that's what I kind of do. Oh dear. Anyway, that's basically the vlog style diary from Hostel Story 246, who's just found out she has MRSA. So, I'm not trying to be awful, but you never know, you might have got it. I only knew because we had the sort of test. So hopefully I'm going to do another video when I get my medical stuff to clear it. And then a video when I have got rid of it. Thank you for watching this video. Comments and...